Okay, it's time to try this. Joe, do you want to come get your matcha? Here you go. Hey guys, what's up? So it's been a while since we've had our last little video. I figured we should probably catch up and chat. So I asked you guys some questions on my Instagram and I'm just gonna go through them, answer some questions. So somebody asks, what cities in Canada are good coffee cities? There's quite a few in Canada. Canada has a very solid coffee scene. Um, outside of like the three biggest cities in Canada, Vancouver, Montreal, as well as Toronto, um, they probably have the biggest coffee scenes. Edmonton and Calgary have some really amazing coffee shops and roasters as well, such as Phil and Sebastian in Calgary, as well as Rogue Wave in Edmonton, and a plethora of others. And even Winnipeg has some really great coffee, such as like Little Sister. I'm not too sure about the Maritimes. However, I do know that Ontario has a ton of coffee roasters and there's some really great ones out there as well in like, the extended Ontario, not just Toronto. Have I tried Tim Wendelbow coffee? I actually haven't had a chance to try his coffee yet. For those who don't know, Tim Wendelbow is one of the top guys in coffee at the moment. He has an incredibly successful coffee roastery as well as a podcast. His podcast is pretty renowned among coffee professionals. Yeah, it's very informational and a little bit nerdy, but it's just a little bit hard to find out here in Vancouver unless I want to order it directly from his website, which I should probably do at some point. So somebody asks how to make a mocha at home so if you don't have an espresso machine you're gonna want to get something like a stovetop coffee brewer like a mocha pot I would brew a little shot of espresso something pretty small with that I'd stir in some hot chocolate powder and take some warm milk froth it up with like a French press or some kind of steaming device that you might have and then just pour that over top so it's gonna be mostly milk but then you're gonna have like that hot chocolate and really like strong coffee mixture it'll be nice and mocha -y. is coffee a fruit absolutely coffee is a fruit coffee is not a nut for you guys out there this is it is a seed inside a fruit that gets roasted so despite like those nutty flavors that we're so used to from like gas station coffee or like church coffee or those like really dark roasted like chocolatey flavors coffee's actually a fruit in case you didn't know somebody else asks who are you why are you famous I'm not famous when did you start your interest with coffee and what makes good coffee um, I think what makes good coffee is definitely different to each person. Um, it's an individual experience and what you enjoy drinking is important to you. I used to just drink lattes or just like really big milky beverages and I never really understood the difference between good coffee and just coffee. I first started falling in love with coffee when I realized drinking it black and you can really understand the origin and like terroir and different varietals and all these little niche things that can go into making coffee different and just generally the world of specialty coffee so that began with like trying pour over coffees but even really before i got into pour over coffees and drinking coffee black and that snobbery behind it i was really drawn to the cafe culture i kept going to a coffee shop called revolver here in vancouver and it's renowned for being one of the best coffee shops in the city and i just liked the atmosphere i liked getting to know the baristas i liked being able to go in on my morning and being like hey how's it going yeah, just an oat latte, and without any knowledge, it just felt like a comfortable space to be in. So that's really what brought me to the coffee scene, and then exploration within that kind of grew my interests. What would I do if I won the lottery? Wait a little bit to open up my own cafe. There's some coffee roasting experience I wanna gain first, but I definitely save a big chunk of money to open up a really beautiful coffee roastery, as well as like a little cafe in the front. I'd probably put a down payment on a house, cause how else am I gonna be able to put a down payment on a house in Vancouver? Buy myself a Miata and just drive the sea to sky. That's it. What would you say are your top three coffee beans? and where do you usually get them from? I really like Kenyan washed SL2834 coffees as a region, variety, and process. I guess the wash would be the process. Um, I find that they're so juicy and so sweet. Really high acidity brings in a lot of flavor, but the sweetness is really high as well. So they're just really nice, complex, beautiful coffees in my opinion. Um, I really like getting one from Luna if they have one available or other really light roasted coffee brands like April or Process. Um, yeah, just somebody who like roasts very light. I find that it's a lot harder to brew the coffee that's roasted very light, but when you can brew it right, the flavors will pop a lot and it's, it's a very uh, joyful experience when you get it right. Another one is I really like uh, Ethiopian Naturals um, or Ethiopian washed coffees as well. Um, 
really tea like very thin body notes of lemon and floral and really like custardy sweetness favorites is from luna as well they're one of the best lighter coffee roasters that i've found i don't know i just like exploring i'm not too big into the anaerobic naturals or the honey processes as much as I am washed and like Ethiopian naturals. I really like a clean cup of coffee that has like lots of fruit and a lot of sweetness. And I find that when we get those like funky fermented flavors, it can take away from a lot of the sweetness that a coffee can have normally. I don't know, I'm a little bit of a traditionalist in that sense. What is my favorite way of preparing coffee? Um, I think if I'm gonna drink a black coffee, I really like a pour over. If I'm gonna drink something with milk, I really like a cortado, which is about four ounces. So two ounces of espresso and two ounces of milk. What coffee art do you want to learn? Um, right now I've been working on learning a swan. It has been very challenging. Um, I think just continuing to learn and have fun with it and not take it too seriously is something that I wanna do. I don't wanna be like, I've got the best latte art in the city. That's really not my intentions at all. I just wanna have fun with it and see what I can do just cause, you know, I just like learning. Um, I think another one that I wanna learn is the big leaf rosetta, really elegant looking. And I think that's what I like to do. Aside from coffee, golf, and cooking, what other things do you enjoy in your free time? I play and watch a lot of basketball. I play basketball probably three days a week when I can. I don't know, the culture behind basketball is also really enjoyable. Um, so yeah, I have fun with it. What are my thoughts on alternative milks? Um, I do drink dairy oftentimes, which is you know controversial, I know, and not great for the environment, but I do like oat milk but I'm kind of picky on what oat milk brands I like. I'm pretty heavily set on Oatly as one of the only brands I really like using. Specialty coffee tips for beginners. Um, just brew pour overs at home and continue to try it out. Um, buy from local cafes and just try drinking more black coffee if you're trying to learn more about it. Do more and drink more from professionals. Are you going to open your own coffee shop, cafe, slash specialty store in the future? Absolutely. Um, I really want to have a coffee roaster and a little cafe front and I kind of want to keep it as small as possible. I just want to employ very few people if any. Um, I really just want to have the cafe open like three days a week, really short hours. Just do a very specialized menu where I just don't really have to fit with what norms that I don't want to serve. Like. If you're gonna take two ounces of espresso and hide it in 16 ounces of milk, like you can go to Starbucks, that's not me. So I really just wanna do things that represent farms really well and like all the work that goes into coffee and coffee roasting is gonna be the best way I can get my hands on and like showcase the goodness that the farmers do. It's kind of like farm to table cooking, um, but it's just a different product, so. Yeah, I'm very excited to do that in the future. I don't know when, probably in a couple years, um, but definitely for sure, I wanna, I wanna have my own cafe. How to get into home espresso brewing. Um, just pick yourself up a Gaggia Classic. It's like 600 bucks, Canadian I think. And get yourself a decent grinder and watch some James Hoffman videos. Also, if you get coffee from local um, coffee roasters, they will often tell you what parameters they're doing. So if they're like, we're using 18 grams in, you should do 18 grams in. If they're going 40 seconds out, you should try going 40 seconds out. And just following the guidelines that this coffee roaster is already doing will help you understand what to look for in espresso. And finally, where do I see myself in 10 years? Um, hopefully I'll be the owner of a successful cafe slash coffee roaster. I'll be able to um, grow my business and just be able to um, really invest in farming and agriculture and coffee and hopefully find ways to be more sustainable so that we can continue drinking coffee in the future um, environmentally and just like be able to travel and be able to like you know build a life with my partner Joe think about a family at that point and yeah get another dog have a cat maybe one day get that Miata I don't know we'll see I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time peace